All right, section 2.1 is wages and salaries. So I just want to go over a few definitions before I look at just a couple examples for this section. The first definition I want to go over is for gross pay. Gross pay is the total amount of money you earn, and this is always before taxes. So no taxes have been taken off. This will look like a lot of money, look like you made a ton of money, but really it's before taxes have taken off. So you don't actually get that money in your pocket, in your bank account. Over time, are extra hours beyond a normal shift that you may be paid at a rate of time and a half. Now, time and a half means that you get paid 1.5 times your regular wage. 1.5, time and a half. Or you may be paid at a rate of double time. Double time, which is two times your regular wage. So either time and a half or double time. Now, there's different ways of being paid. There's weekly, which means you get paid once a week. Semi-monthly, which is twice a month, usually at the beginning, at the first, and then in the middle, usually around the 15th or so. Or depending on how many days are in the month, it could be on the 16th. Bi-weekly, which is every two weeks, so it's every 14 days. Every 14 days, which is different than semi-monthly, because semi-monthly starts at the beginning of the month and the middle. 14 days is not going to be the middle of the month, especially if your month has 31 days. So these are not the same. Commission. Commission you get if you sell something, uh, like an item, and you get money based on how much of a sale you made. If you sold $1,000 worth of product, you might get a commission of 5% or something, and then you get that beyond your uh, wage. Salary is a set wage per year, and this is how you get paid, usually bi-weekly or semi-monthly, but your salary is your yearly annual income and the contract you basically get paid for a job so for instance I have a friend that's a web designer so he could get paid to design a website doesn't matter how long it takes him um, he could say okay I'm gonna charge you five hundred dollars for this job could take him a week could take him a couple weeks um, it's up to him but that's how he gets paid per job Okay, let's look at an example here. Let's calculate the gross earnings for a job paying $8.75 an hour and working 20 hours a week. This is obviously not in BC because our minimum wage is a bit more than that. So the way I do this is I take $8.75. I'm going to times it by my 20 hours because there's 20 hours per week that this person is working. So I have $8.75 times 20 hours is $175. And this is per week. And remember that these are gross earnings. This person does not actually pocket $175. They don't actually get that amount of money. So when you say, oh, I'm making $10.25 an hour, and then you calculate your wage, don't think that this amount of money is going to go in your pocket because that's your gross earnings. You, haven't, you don't know how much taxes are going to be taken off yet. We'll look at that later in the chapter. What would you make in a year? Okay, so this is $175 per week. Hmm, $175. How many weeks in a year? So how many weeks per year? Do you know? There's roughly 52 weeks in a year, give or take. It's usually a little bit more. But about 52 weeks per year. So I'm going to multiply this by 52 because I make 175 every week for 52 weeks. And this will tell me my yearly income, which is $9,100. So that's working, and that's per year. That is working only 20 hours a week, which is about a half-time job, making quite a bit less than minimum wage. But let's say this is the amount you pocket, say. Uh, well, it's not. It's your gross. But let's just say it is. And if you work 20 hours a week, you would only make $9,100 per year. Maybe sounds like a lot of money, but probably not, because most of you know that um, your rent or your mortgage or whatever you have to pay is going to take up a lot of that. Last question, based on that same thing, what would you make in the average month? The average month. Okay, well, let's see here. How many weeks are there in a month? There's 52 weeks in a year divided by 12 months, so that gives about 4.33 weeks in a month. But notice we're dividing by 12 if we have our yearly income. So above, I do have my yearly income. I have $9,100 a year. 
I'm going to, then that's for 52 weeks. So I'm going to divide by 12, or sorry, that's $9,100 in a year, per year. I want to know how much I make per month. So I'm, I'm going to divide by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. So I have $9,100 divided by 12, and I'm going to be making about $7.58.33. So $758.33 per month. Again, if you think about how much your rent would be, most people pay at least $600 $800 for rent for like a very small place if they're on their own. So if they're only working part-time, half-time, that's not even barely going to cover their rent. So they're going to have to make more than just that because that's not a lot of money. Um, just be aware of how to, how to calculate the monthly income though. If you're given, say, weekly income, you can't just multiply it by 4. You can't just multiply it by 4. You would have to multiply it by 52 first to get your year and then divide by 12 to get your monthly. But you cannot just mu uh, multiply it by 4. All right. Last example, if you earn $31,400 a year, now that's a mu much more respectable income, this you can actually survive on, um, and you receive a 1.2% raise, what do you make the following year? So how are we gonna figure this out here? Well, let's start with our $31,400. Now I'm gonna multiply by this. Now look at this raise. This means that it's my amount of money that I make, which will be 100%, plus 1.2. So I'm gonna actually make it 1.1, Sorry, you have to convert this to a decimal first, which is going to be 0 0.012. And I'm going to add that to 1.012. So I get 1.012. The reason I'm adding the 1 is because I want to include the original value, which is 31,000. I want to include 100% of it. So essentially, I'm multiplying it by 100 and then 0 0.012 or 1.2%. 1 you could do this way, you could convert it to a decimal. Let's do both ways, 0 0.012. You could figure out what that value is. So I have 31,400 times by 0 0.012. So I end up getting $376.80. And that would be my raise. But the question asks, what do you make the following year? So I'm going to have to add that on to my 31,400 that I already make. So I add those two together, plus my 31,400 that I already make, and I'm going to end up with 31,776, so $31,776.80 per year. Now that's one method, that's basically taking the 1.2%, figuring out what my raise is, and then adding it to my total income to figure out what my final income is going to be. The other way of doing it, so that's step one. The other part, or the other way to do it, is to take your $31,400 and multiply it by the 1.012. Remember, the one signifies that I'm including the original amount to figure out what I'm going to be making all in all with everything together. So $31,400 times 1.012, and I get 31776.8, which is exactly what I had above. 31776.8 per year. Now, this is much faster if you want to figure out just how much they're making per year. This way is great if you want to figure out what their raise is per year. I mean, you could figure out this way too, but then you'd have to subtract these two values, how much you make new, how your new amount per year uh, minus your old amount to figure out what your raise would be. So 1.2% raise is about $376.80 per year. Not too bad if you're making a lot of money. Um, that actually increases your income quite a bit. So to summarize, note what gross pay is, note what overtime means, um, be aware of different ways of being paid, especially the difference between semi-monthly and bi-weekly, and note that gross earnings means before tax, so we haven't dealt with tax yet. And also to make per month if you're given weekly, you have to divide, uh, multiply by 52 and then divide by 12. And then if you wanted semi-monthly, you would divide this one by two. I would take that, divide it by two, 
I would say, okay, semi-monthly. So it's $758.33 divided by two for semi-monthly. And that would be 379 and 17. 379 and 17 for semi-monthly. Right? Which is quite a bit different than your bi-weekly because if you look at your weekly, which was $175, you multiply that one by two, Hundred and seventy five times two, which is three fifty. It's different, quite a bit, by twenty nine dollars. So just be aware of that, that there are there is a difference between semi monthly and bi weekly. Check the assignment guide for the assignment and good luck.